All right, everybody, we got a fun video for you today. Uh, something different than your normal uh, martial arts related um, topics or something different than the whole uh, leadership and empowering topics. So this is going to be more of those, uh, some individuals um, uh, stay, give, doing uh, gold scams, I guess. So what these individuals are doing is that uh, they go around asking for money and they offer to uh, give you a ring, uh, give you a chain, give you a necklace, you know, as long as um, you give them money for gas, for food. So uh, here's the story. Thing right here. There you go. Okay. So, all right. So I'm at the gas station um, early in the morning, uh, going to head to um, one of my locations and um so a, a family of looks like a family of five uh with a bunch of stuff on the back and everything looks like they're moving uh with uh texas license plates driving a durango uh they drive by next to me and they're like like hey you know like they're signaling me to roll down my window so i'm at the gas station and the guy asks me if i have any money to any uh money that i can get for gas so and normally, you know, um, if I if I do have, I'll give, you know, I'll try to help out. And I had like about ten bucks in uh, in bills. Um, the rest I usually have my on my card. So I told I give the guy five, and then he gives me uh, this ring right here. You can see that it's a ring right there. So he gives me that gold ring. And you know, a uh, guy was um, again. I'm not. I don't want to assume what race he was, but uh, he, you know, he wasn't um, Hispanic. He wasn't, you know, Caucasian. You know, um, so he basically was telling me that he lived. They, they lived in Texas. They need gas money to get home. So I gave him five dollars. I said like, hey, that's fine, man. You don't have to give me the ring. I don't want the ring. He's like, no, no, take it, take it. You know, I just. You know, and then he was asking me, like, oh, do you have any more for gas? You know, we're going really far. Um, you know, I'll give, I'll give you this chain. So this chain right here. So I'm like, no, no that's fine, man. I was like, and I looked at my wallet. I had, I, I had the other five, so I went ahead and gave it to him. Um, you know, basically giving, um, giving this family uh, $10, you know, to be on their way. And, um, yeah, he kept pushing this on me. He kept pushing this uh, ring and and chain on me and then they were asking me like like oh do you have any more money like for food you know as you go eat i was like you know man i don't i don't have any more you know like it's got you know i'm not gonna really use my card um don't really like take it out in public unless i'm gonna use it myself so you know stay with ten dollars and he then i had this on me already and i'm like if you do you want the do you want the ring and the chain back you know i don't i don't really want this i mean i don't think if if it's yours, like, you, you know, I'm already giving you the money, <laughs> you know, but they kept pushing this on me. So, uh, you know, they kept asking for money and I'm like, I ain't got any more. Like, you know, I mean, most likely if I would have probably had a little more, I probably would have gone up to like maybe 20 bucks. Uh, I, that's the amount I've usually given people that have asked me for cash on the streets, you know, uh, about 20 bucks. You know, I figure that's, that's, I don't know what they're going to use it for, but you know, to each their own, you know, like it says in the Bible, you know, asking you shall receive something, something, you know. So, yeah, they, they pushed this on me. And um, he's like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's a, he kept telling me like it's his birthday and he wanted to give me something. So I guess the whole point was they're going to they, they wanted to give me this and really take more from me. So, you know, I want to see if it's actually real because, I mean, I'm curious to know like what's the deal i mean i'm trying to keep it you know they, they basically gave they basically gave me this like it wasn't even for the for the gas money because i didn't want it um so this was on uh yesterday on a sunday and i just kept it with me but but you know i got curious and i started looking looking up like like how you can tell if gold is real because um honestly I, even if it was real i wasn't really planning on keeping it um probably gonna take it you know sell it you know 
if it is real, well, whatever, I'll, I'll use the extra cash for, you know, some activity to do with the family, you know, store it in savings or something. So, uh, it's Sunday, so nothing is open. Um, I'm guessing this is probably the time when um, individuals like this uh, do things like that. They, they, they approach people on a weekend when they know that, like, the pawn shops are closed or, or the places that buy gold are closed. So, regardless, today's Monday, it's Memorial Day, and uh, there was one uh, pawn shop open, and um, I decided to, you know, give it a shot. Like, okay, I'll, I'll head over there, um, I'll, I'll check, because the inside says 18 karat, um, so does the chain, says 18 karat. Um, I did a little water test on it, so it did sink all the way to the ground. I mean, to the to the to the bottom of the water cup. I tried the magnet test, and it's not. It wasn't magnetic. The chain was not magnetic. Neither was the ring. So you know, they usually say that gold uh, gold is not uh, magnetic. So <clears throat> you know, did a few tests with things that I had uh, at hand. You know, uh, there's also another test you do using, I think, uh, not nitric acid. Uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to go through the effort of buying that stuff if I don't need it. So today I went to the pawn shop um, in the city where I live at, and um, I take it in. And the guy had the guy had the I guess it was the black stone. So if if you put it against the black stone and uh, gold streaks come out, then you know it's real gold. And then he tried it using the the nitric acid, and yeah, look, it did like a little a little burn mark here where uh, green started coming out. So that's how you know it's fake. So yeah, basically, well, I, I wouldn't say I got scammed because I didn't want this. You know, now now I own something I don't want. Um, so basically, it's what I do with it. I let the kids play with it. You know, I, I did clean it up though. You know, it's not dirty. You know, if somebody else was touching this, you know, I, I made sure to clean it, soap and water, and some vinegar on it, you know. Um, but yeah, it had me going. I was thinking like, oh, okay, you know, most I get a few extra hundred for it um, at a pawn shop. It really wasn't, you know, it's, it's like, like I said, I mean, I really wasn't, um, I didn't want this from them. Like I know that I know their whole purpose was to get more. So I, I guess what I'm trying to get to is that um, for those of you out there um, who do fall into this, where uh, people flag you down, um, they usually do it like at gas stations, or they look like, or they make it seem like they're stranded somewhere in the middle in the middle of the road. Basically, some place where you're not gonna have any tools to actually test the gold. So what they do is that they, I guess what I saw online is that um, they ask you if you have about $200 that you can spare and they'll give you this and they'll give you a phone number so that, um, so that, so that they can call or they'll, they'll give you their number um, and they'll get your number and they'll say they'll give you a call um, whenever they have the money to pay you back. So. They usually ask $200 for gas, <clears throat> and then they ask um, so that they can feed their family. Uh, the main thing is that they, they want money. Um, if you offer to put gas in their in their gas tank, they're a bit hesitant. If you offer to buy them food, they'll, they, they, that's when they tend to turn you down. Uh, but what they want is the cash. Now, this is what I saw uh, on other YouTube channels. Again, with me, it didn't work because I only had $10 that so I was gonna spare, you know, really. Like, honestly, I would've done it anyways. They didn't have to give me anything. I mean, most of the time, um, I'll see uh, like a homeless person out and they're usually asking money. They got a pretty decent attitude and they're just asking, hey man, do you have any money so I can go eat something, uh, get something to drink? And I'm like, you know, they caught me at the right time, you know, give them a $20 bill. It's not, you know, uh, basically, in, in, the way I see it is that maybe they'll find a way to pay it forward. Maybe they'll share that food with, um, you know, another homeless person. I don't know, maybe they'll buy liquor and they'll share that with their, their buddies. Whatever, you know, I'm not, 
I'm not gonna judge people do their money once it's theirs, you know? So, but yeah, so this is how the, this is what I saw online, how the scam goes, and exactly the same thing that the, the appraiser at the pawn shop told me was that, did these uh, individuals uh, come to you at a gas station? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, they did. Oh yeah, it's, it's fake, you know. You know, this happens a lot. And I'm like, oh cool, the first time it's ever happened to me. Nobody's ever given me a, uh, I mean, Honestly, I think this is probably worth more than uh, ten dollars. I mean, it's fake, you know. It's me but it's metal. You know, I mean, it doesn't. This doesn't feel like a toy that you get out of the twenty-five cent um, machine. You know, at, at the at the dispensers. You know, this is uh, this is has some weight to it. So I mean, I, I don't I don't understand the scam that this uh, family was trying to pull on me. Uh, they could have probably taken this back and used it to scam somebody else. But, you know, they they left it with us. You know, they left it they left it with me, so now I have it. I mean, I'm not going to scam anybody. I'm probably just... If anything, it's kind of a reminder. Uh, you know, because, you know, what, what if I would have had more money? What if uh, this family would have pulled on, on my heartstrings and I would have said, like, hey, you know what? If I got 200 bucks, I'll give 200 bucks. Again, I, I probably would still wouldn't, would not have accepted the ring or the or the bracelet because I mean, you know, things happen every now and then. We all, you know, there's situations when we all need money sometimes, and um, I, I usually feel like if um, you can um, let go of your pride and ego to ask a total stranger for money, then you know, I think that that itself very takes a lot, you know, because most people don't like asking for help. Even if it's from the person who actually um, who actually knows uh, what to do in a situation when you do need help, people are still hesitant to ask for help. So, you know, hopefully this family, I don't know, finds something, finds a better way to, um, you know, get their funds and the, doesn't try to take advantage of other people that uh, work hard to make their money, you know? I mean, you know, those are my thoughts. So uh, leave your comments, leave your uh, concerns. Uh, if anybody wants to buy this from me, it's probably sell it for ten bucks. You know, but again, you know, if not, I'm gonna keep it. A reminder, you know, hey, there's people out there. You know, not just the people that I encountered, but I guess other stories. Uh, they, um, what they say, what they tell families is that, hey, you know what, we're heading to Dubai. We lost our wallet. I mean, this family gave me a different story. You know, the guy told me that they just needed gas to get back to Texas. They had Texas license plates. So I'm like, you know. I mean, honestly, to be honest, I really didn't believe them. I just feel they needed gas money. And I mean, it's, you know, if somebody can give you gas money, then you save on gas money. So, all right, guys, not trying to prolong the video. You know, just um, sharing my thoughts. Um, Leave your comments um, if you're curious to know more about it. You know, I'll, I'll answer questions about it. If it's happened to you, let me know. All right. Later, combatants.